Friends, today I'm going to show you how to make that awesome tower with a brick-like texture. So let's get cracking. Alright, so of course I see a lot of interest in creating items with textures. If we look down inside, you can see that we have got layers here to make this finish. I actually did a flip. That's why you can see that little lip right there. Of course, if you're brand new to Tinkercad, this is the design space. You can work from the home or the designs. Each work the same. I'm going to hit create and it's going to be a brand new 3D design. I'm going to start by naming our project. Let's call it Tower with Grout. Since I already named that once, I will add a 2 to this one. And we're going to start this project with the tube. I'm going to type the numbers that I want to use. I'm going to use the number 40 right here. I'm going to set the wall thickness to 3. I'm going to make the sides maxed out. That way we get the smoothest version we can. And then I'm going to choose to set the height to 14. Once again, as you're building your own cool project, you can come up with the numbers that you want. Alright friends, we are going to solve the grout with the torus. When you bring this out, if we check back on our design, you can see we are currently 80 because of the 40. So we're going to simply take this and we're going to make its radius 40.2. Now I fiddled with these numbers so you can experiment if you want to make different ones. I made the tube 0.5 and of course I maxed out the sides to make this as round as it can be. We're going to make it a hole and then we're going to select the two. Do L for a line, and we're going to choose center and center. I always find it easier to find this center from this angle. Bingo, it's aligned. We are going to put it center here, but then we're going to adjust that number in a second. If we use the ruler, I'm going to press R for ruler. You could also click up here and bring it out. When we click on the torus, you see that it says 6.5. I'm going to tell you that we want to make that 6 and press enter. We also then want to do control D. And we can do control up and we want the second one to be at exactly 13 and press enter. This creates a tiny little lip that we're going to use later in the project. Notice it did not matter where we started the ruler from. We were just adjusting the height on our project, which is a pretty slick trick. Right now we're going to get rid of that. Friends, it is time to build the vertical parts. We're going to do that with a simple hole. When we bring it out, we're going to grab any of the bottom holes while holding shift, stretch it to Crazyville, but then we're going to type a measurement of one millimeter. Press F to fit view. It zooms in a ton. If we back up just a little, we can stretch this. The number that we want to type is 6.5 for the height. I'm going to move this close to the middle. I'm going to do Control D, Shift Nudge to move it across, and let's line these up. I'm going to select just those two. Notice it says two shapes. I'm going to do L for the line, make the orange one the boss, and I want to make sure it's centered. And making sure that's the boss, I want to go to that edge. Now it kind of hides. We'll fix that in just a second. Right now, though, we got to go to the other side. I can't see that in there, but check it out. I know it was there, so I can now do L for a line. Once again, we're going to click this one, and we want center. And we want this very edge. If we do hide, you can see we've got our two shapes. We need to bring this out a half millimeter. So we're going to switch to the half millimeter nudge. And we're just going to nudge it one chunk that way. Same thing for this one. If I look at it from this side, it's easy to see that my left arrow brings it out to the middle. Now when we show everything, you can see that that piece of grout is exactly where it's supposed to be on both sides. We can now hide this, grab our little vertical grout marks. I'm gonna look at this from a corner and I'm gonna do Control D. And because we have two of these, when we rotate, it goes around the middle. Now you can stretch to whatever number you want, but then click in the box and I need you to type 18 and press enter. When you let go, if you do not touch anything else, you can do Control D again and again and again. And it makes the grout all the way around our project. How cool is that? To finish this up, we're going to switch to what we call flat view. This lets us easily just grab those pins. We are now going to do Control D and Control up to raise them up. I am going to click on the right view so that I'm sure that I'm looking at them cleanly. 
Notice now you can see I went up too far, so we're going to do control down. That is where they're supposed to line up. Now we're going to switch back to orthographic view, and we're going to rotate them 9 degrees. So they are all still selected, and we just have to find this rotation handle. Once again, you can rotate to any number, but in the box, type 9 and press enter. You have just made all of the grout for your design. If we do show all, that comes back. We can now select everything and do control G to group. Notice those are quite a few cuts, but bingo, it is created. Now a smart thing in Tinkercad is when you make a complex shape, turn it into a creation. This is less complex and you can use it again and again. I'm gonna call this tower with, with grout. Notice you do have to wait for it to show up. I never locked the part size. You could add a tag and I'm simply gonna save that shape. Now it will always be available in the My Creations area. For this project, I'm gonna keep my scratch one and then also I'm gonna build the next one. I'm gonna just bring it out and cruise it to that spot. Select the two, L for a line, center and center. And as you can see, our tower is looking pretty cool. Let's make it a gray color, like a castle. All right, so now that we've got that stacked, watch this. Control D, lift it to Crazyville. But then the number we want to type is 14 times 2, or 28. Press Enter. And now if we continue to click Control D, they stack as high as you want your tower to be. I will show you quickly this top ends with the funny edge. To fix that, we simply mirror it. And then if you do control down one millimeter, your grout lines up, and then you simply need to do the rotate for the nine degrees. I'm gonna just type negative nine and press enter. Friends, just like that, you have built a Tinkercad tower that looks like it's built with bricks. Of course, friends, there's tons of skills in there. Don't forget the awesome ruler, the nudge, the duplicate and rotate, and finally, saving your own parts as shapes. Friends, of course, I do want to say thanks for all the support with the channel. Don't forget, every time you hit like, add a comment, or share it with somebody else, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger. Of course, have a glorious day. And keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I also want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check out this video right here, it tells you all about it. I do also want to highlight there is a sweet coupon code HL25Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses at cadclass.org. You can visit the site by clicking this link right here. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.